also new numbers on the Bay Area's ICU availability. But we want to start with an unusual push from some top Bay Area doctors. As KPI X5's Wilson Walker reports, they want to reopen schools within weeks. Wilson? Liz, we have had one discussion about vaccinations in California. We've had another very long discussion about when children should go back to school. These two discussions have been sort of dancing around each other for a long time. They are about to run into each other now. You know, we have a, a proposal put through for a March 1st uh, opening. We have Gavin Newsom advocating for kindergarten through sixth grade to go back to school in February. And, and frankly, those both fall short. Dr. Gina Noble is a professor of emergency medicine and just one of the 30 UCSF healthcare professionals, from infectious disease experts to adolescent healthcare specialists, calling for a reopening of California schools as soon as February 1st. They say 10 months of lost learning and the mounting social isolation caused by school closures outweighs the risk posed by reopening. Uh, and they are suffering. There's a lot of real measurable detrimental impacts from school closures that I, in general, have not received uh, nearly the amount of tension as the COVID numbers have. But that argument runs squarely into the position of teachers unions who we heard from as recently as Friday. I know that this is not good for any child, but I also know that it's far worse for a child to lose a parent or lose a grandparent that takes care of them. Teachers have asked for mass vaccination and a host of other precautionary steps before returning to classrooms. So, so two points there. One, we support early vaccination for teachers. Two, we don't think vaccination is a requirement for them to enter the classroom. And the reason is, is that schools are can be operated safely. And we have a lot of data on that. All right, she's arguing, she points to Marin County actually as an example of a school system that was open with very few infections. So what happens next? Now, California said today that they are going to take another look at who is prioritized on the vaccination list. Do teachers move up on that list perhaps? Now, can you get enough teachers vaccinated to satisfy teachers unions to get them back into the classroom in February or March? That sounds like a huge step, as you can hear, just tremendous disagreements on what needs to be agreed upon before schools open again in mass. A lot of work to do in that department. Live here in Berkeley, Wilson Walker, KPIX 5.